Uh, hey guys, and welcome back. So uh, this is the fifth problem. It's exactly the same as the first four problems. We're taking this number, uh, excuse me, sorry, 2 minus 4j. That's our rectangular form number, and we just have to convert that into polar form. So now uh, I'm just going to draw my real and imaginary axes. This is my real axes. This is my imaginary. I have two units of real, uh, or, or I go over two units in the real direction, positive two units, plus two, and then minus four in the imaginary. One, two, three, four. So my number would fall right here on my real imaginary axes. That would be my magnitude, or the length of this line would be my magnitude, and my phase would be right here. My magnitude, just like we've been doing in all of these videos, real part plus imaginary, real part squared plus imaginary part squared, two squared plus four squared, to the one half power, which is going to give us the same thing we've had so far, two root five. And now my phase angle is just going to be equal to the arc tangent of my imaginary part, which is negative 4. I have negative 4 uh, imaginary part, so that's negative 4, divided by my real part. I have positive real part, positive 2 real, so my arc tan of minus 4 divided by 2 is going to give me my phase angle. And I don't have to add anything to this because I'm in uh, the fourth quadrant. If I'm in either the first quadrant or the fourth quadrant, I can just take the arc tangent so long as I leave all the appropriate minus signs in, and I'm totally fine. Uh, so anyway, let me go ahead and get out the calculator and figure that out. And uh, it's just going to be the arc tangent of negative 2. So I have 2 minus arc tangent, and I get negative 1.1071. So I get, oh, that's not what I wanted. So I get my phase angle is equal to minus 1.1071. And let's even say, uh, well, anyway, here, let me just go ahead and write down an answer right here. So an answer that we could come up with is that uh, my magnitude for my polar form is 2 root 5 times e to the minus j 1.1071. So that is one, uh, that's one way of writing this. Let's say for some reason you really wanted to have a positive number for your phase angle here. Let's say for some problem you were doing it was like really super necessary to have a positive phase angle. So how do you get one? Well you can just add 2 pi. If I just add 2 pi to this minus 1.1071, that it's the same exact number, but now I'm, uh, I've got a positive phase angle. So let me go ahead and get the calculator back, and let's say I just add 2 times pi, plus paren, and 5.1760, so I'm just going to write, that is, 2 root 5 e to the j 5.1760. That was the right number. 5.1760. Yep. So anyway, that is pretty much it. Uh, both of these numbers are completely equivalent. I could either have written, I could have written this one down, but if I had a problem that really needed me to have a positive phase angle or needed me to represent the phase angle as a positive number. I could have written this down. These are both completely equivalent. They completely uh, uh, represent the same exact thing. So anyway, hopefully uh, you found that useful, and I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching.